Hello, my name is Michelle Lefwich. I'm the new head of the junior school here at Canterbury. I have met lots of you so far. Um, I've seen you around the campus in the car park, mornings and afternoons. Uh, for those of you I haven't met, hopefully I'll get to meet you face to face. Uh, it's a shame we couldn't have our parent information evening uh, in person, but um, this will suffice. So what I'm going to do before I start speaking about some key points is I'm actually going to read you a story. You'll see this story has quite significance for a junior school. So I'm now going to read the story. The story is called It Takes a Village and it's written by Hillary Clinton. Okay. Sometimes it takes a child to make a village. We all have a place in the village, a job to do and a lot to learn. Kids don't come with instructions, but neither do grown-ups. Every child needs a champion, or two, or three, or even more, and the right tool to get the job done. Every family needs help sometimes. Kindness and caring and sharing matter. Playing matters too and resting because the world is in a hurry, but children are not. The village needs every one of us to help and every one of us to believe in each other. Children are born believers and citizens too. Let us build a village worthy of all children. And you'll see there's some lovely illustrations of children playing and working and being part of a community there together. And the reason I chose to uh, read that story and share that with you today is because we are all part of the village for your children. So it's very important that we all work together, that we're on the same page and we support each other. We support you as a family in bringing up your children and we ask that you support us here educating your children as well. And sometimes that means we might have to have tricky conversations, but that's why you choose a school like Canterbury where we're very honest with you and share the information you need to know to provide the best education for your children. We ask that you also afford us the same respect and share things with us as well. If you're ever concerned, please always talk to us. We're always willing to speak to you. Remember that teachers are your first port of call. So any concerns, always speak to your child's teacher. There is plenty of opportunities throughout the year for feedback and children from prep to year four have communication books where teachers can jot notes in each day and you can jot any matters that are not confidential. So you can pop things in there like a child has lost their hat or they're going to be picked up by a grandparent. Those types of things can be put into those communication books. Teachers will put in their things for you as well. Year five and six, they are more online, but the same things apply. You can speak to teachers, you can contact us via email, telephone calls, or we can meet you face to face. Assessment will be shared through uh, MyCC this year as it was last year and at certain junctures throughout each term assessment tasks will be shared with you. The information from those assessment tasks are combined together to give you an end of semester report. You will receive an end of term one report this year and that's about your child's behaviour, their academic work and their social skills. So that will come through at the end of term one as well. It won't include academic results. They will come through a summation at the end of the semester, but you will receive tasks at certain points throughout the term. The end of term two, you will also have the opportunity to have parent teacher interviews with your child's teacher. So another opportunity to gain feedback on how they're progressing. This year, we are using MyCC for all of our communication with families. And you will have seen already that you'll receive an email that will give you a link to MyCC. So we won't actually email letters to you. You'll receive the link, which you are able to click on to access that information on MyCC. We're trying to keep all of that communication in the one place.
It's really important that you do connect with MyCC, set up your notifications so you can make sure you do receive those. There are also uh, social media places that you can access information from the school. If you follow us on Facebook and also Instagram, there's lots of information shared via those platforms. There are other groups that families run or parents run from the college as well, and they're a great source of information. So a parent may be sharing information about the date of an excursion or the time that something finishes, but sometimes that may not always be the most accurate information. So for the most accurate information, you're best to actually follow the college pages and they have the most up-to-date information or if you're not sure, always speak with us. We're always willing to answer your questions and give you that accurate information. And I ask that you're very positive in what you place on social media as well. Rather than th and feeling negative about something and placing a comment, always speak to us first and we can talk you through that. We're very open to listening to you and would love to speak to you. And again, going back to that working as a village, we'd like to work with you to sort out any concerns. So please always see us. Also with our communication, we are hoping to move back to our open mornings where families came in in the morning and spent some time in children's classrooms. Hopefully uh, after our first month, we might be able to start that again and have more families on campus. On that note, I'd like to thank families for being very respectful during this time of pandemic of not coming on campus or only those really vital reasons. So thank you for that. It's very exciting this year. We have some more specialists teaching some of our lessons in classrooms. We now have a science specialist teaching science lessons from year four up. And of course, we do have some of our classroom teachers that are trained in certain specialist areas, also taking other classes for some of those specialist lessons. Also, we've started dance and drama as part of our program as well, which is also very exciting. Now, the car park, that has been running quite smoothly the last couple of days. Obviously, our first couple of days, lots of families come in um, and walk children in. Uh, but thank you for those families that have been respectful and now are dropping off and picking up in those three areas. I have sent information about those three areas. They're there for you on my CC. You can always check those. We do have that extra pickup area this year for year five and year six, which helps to sort of thin out our car parks um, a little bit. We are going to try on a new process and that is where we have families' names inside windscreens so staff can actually call students' names out and have them ready to hop into cars as parents pull up. We will be asking that students all sit down during this time. So stay tuned, we will be sharing more information about that with you. And if we're all on board and follow the procedures, we hope that it will make it a more of a smooth pickup um, in the afternoons for you. So each year level has an information booklet and that has some key information in there about homeworks, excursions, camps, routines, specialist lessons, uniforms. So there's lots and lots of information in those. There's also a PowerPoint for each year level and that's got your teachers sharing some general information in there as well. They will also refer you to MyCC that's got the academic information about our learning areas. So it's got information in all of our learning areas, what they're covering this term. So all of that information will come to you. If you have any further questions from that, please don't hesitate to contact your child's class teacher. So that's it from me. Have a fantastic year and I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you. Thank you. My name is Jonathan Wheatley, and as Assistant Head of the Junior School at Canterbury, I work very closely with Michelle Leftwich and Brittany Sinclair as part of the leadership team. I also work with the Academic Care Coordinators, Jolene Anderson in Year 5 and 6, David Peckham in Years 3 and 4, Lauren Radovanov in Years 1 and 2, and Claire Goodall in Prep. I also work with Ben Maxfield, Head of HPE and Sport Prep to Year 6, and Leanne Lyle, Head of Learning Support, Junior School. Learning at Canterbury College follows the Australian curriculum in English, Mathematics, Science, Humanities and Social Studies, Health and Physical Education, Digital Technologies, Visual Arts, the Performing Arts of Dance, Drama and Music, as well as Spanish. Our experienced and enthusiastic teachers have prepared rich learning environments in their classrooms and our expansive outdoor learning spaces. 
Classroom teachers and specialist teachers adopt a range of teaching methods to engage students in all types of learning. They work collaboratively in their teams under the guidance of the academic care coordinators and participate in an ongoing three-year professional development cycle, including goal setting using the Australian Professional Standards for Teachers. We are truly blessed to have dedicated and professional teachers who have your child's academic, social, physical and spiritual development growth as their number one priority. Learning at Canterbury College is geared towards getting students world ready. Students learn through targeted, explicit instruction, as well as inquiry approaches, both individually and collaboratively. Technology is a big part of student learning, which is managed through MyCC OneNote for the older year levels and a variety of digital learning approaches. New staff for 2022 include Spanish teachers, a specialist dance teacher for year six, a specialist science teacher for years four to six, and a diverse group of experienced and early career teachers who bring a wealth of energy, enthusiasm, and wisdom to our team. We welcome all new teachers to Canterbury and hope you get to meet them soon. 2022 brings some exciting developments to the junior school, including digital technologies lessons being held in the secondary digital classroom and a new curriculum footprint designed to increase physical activity and movement through a new performing arts program of dance and drama and increased health and physical education. The year three strings program has gone from strength to strength and the year five and six band program is in its second year and going strong. Curriculum offerings are expanded in year five and six through the elective program called SPARK. This semester, teachers from the junior school, the secondary school and the leadership team all offer SPARK subjects which incorporate thinking skills, student voice and project-based inquiry learning which culminates in a SPARK Expo showcasing the semester's work. Our prep to two students love doing our time, which is learning structured to engage students through play-based activities. iTime integrates play with subject areas such as science, role play, fine motor development, and allows for social skill development. A homework club in the afternoons offers free fruit and secondary school student tutors to students in years five and six on Tuesday through till Thursday up until 5 p.m. Camp Australia offers before and after school care. Thank you for being part of the Canterbury College Junior School community. I look forward to seeing you around the campus and focusing on your students' learning. Welcome back to a brand new school year. My name is Brittany Sinclair and I'm the Assistant Head of Junior School Wellbeing. Our wellbeing program in the junior school is diverse to support the holistic development of the whole child through three key programs. The first of these key programs is our Bridge Builders program. Bridge Builders allows our students from ELC to year six to develop knowledge and engage in practical activities to support resilience, confidence, flexible thinking, problem solving and communication skills. The program also offers our Year 6 students the opportunity to become bridge builder mediators. This training allows our students to work within the Prep to Year 2 playgrounds, supporting and encouraging our younger students to solve conflict using a consistent language which is aligned with our bridge builder lessons in the classroom. The Resilience Project is another integral part of our wellbeing curriculum at Canterbury. It delivers emotionally engaging programs, providing evidence-based practical strategies to build resilience in our young students. The Resilience Project focuses on three wellbeing concepts, gratitude, empathy, and mindfulness, and how they can be used to support the students to engage in day-to-day -day learning, regulation of emotions, and how it can support long-term mental health. You can also access resources on the Junior School MyCC page if you'd like to practice gratitude, empathy and mindfulness at home with your family. Learning for Life is also implemented as part of our wellbeing program. It is a life skills program that is embedded with our Canterbury College values. 
It is designed to build students' personal and social skills as part of their world-ready Canterbury education. Each lesson is introduced and taught explicitly and then continually practised and demonstrated throughout the year. Lessons are focused around themes such as respect, travelling manners and much more. When students are observed demonstrating these desired skills or the Canterbury College values, they may be awarded a gotcha ticket. This ticket then forms part of a raffle which is part of our junior school assemblies, something all of our students really look forward to. Finally, as part of supporting the physical well-being of our students, our younger students have the wonderful meadow area which is full of developmentally designed playground equipment for their use. This year, our older students are very excited about the brand new adventure playground that is situated on the Oval. This is an amazing new addition to our facilities and is guaranteed to engage our students both physically and imaginatively at break times. Hello, my name's Leanne Lyle. I am the Head of Learning Support here in the Junior School at Canterbury College. The role of the Learning Support Department here at Canterbury is to nurture and maintain a safe, supportive and inclusive learning environment for all students that have variance in their learning styles and abilities. Our Learning Support Department work collaboratively as a team. In our Learning Support Department, we have Learning Support Teachers and Learning Assistants, and they're available to monitor and provide guidance for the needs of identified students throughout the year. Our team works closely with staff to assist in the planning and the delivery of effective teaching and learning programs for our identified students. Learning support teachers make observations whilst in the classroom and feed these observations to the classroom teacher. If there are concerns about our students' learning ability or difficulty with their learning, learning support teachers can collaborate with the classroom teacher to assist in a referral process or to make suggestions for adjustments that will accommodate students' needs. We seek input from parents to assist in working out the support that can be given specifically here at Canterbury or whether or not we need to seek assistance from external providers such as speech therapists, occupational therapists or visiting teachers for specific impairments. The Learning Support Department are always evaluating and monitoring the type of students that come through our caseload. Uh, we respond specifically to the needs of these students to create certain initiatives to provide an inclusive environment so that students feel confident in their ability to learn. If you'd like to discuss your child's learning needs, the classroom teacher would be your first port of call. Hello, my name is Ben Maxfield and I'm the Head of Sport and Activities for the Junior School. Prep to Year 2 students have the opportunity to participate in our development programs. These programs are run by outside organisations and their aim is for students to create the love for the sport and activity as well as teaching the skills needed to play. Programs such as First Five Rugby, Net Set Go, Basketball, Mini Kickers, AFL Oz Kick, Chess, Woolworths Cricket Blast and Running Club are offered to the students. These programs are either run before school or after school and a Canterbury staff member will be present at all activities. More information will be sent out via MyCC at the beginning of each term. Students in prep to year two will partake in two one hour HPE lessons per week. These lessons focus on the students' physical literacy with the emphasis of physical, psychological, social and cognitive health and wellbeing. In term four, students will participate in water safety activities at the Canterbury Aquatic Centre. In addition to this, if your child would like to enrol in Learn to Swim classes, please contact the Canterbury Taipan Swimming Club. Year three to six students have the opportunity to participate in the Junior TAS competition. The Junior TAS sports are cricket, hockey, rugby union, netball, basketball, football, Australian rules football, touch football and tennis along with the three major carnivals of cross country, track and field and swimming. Committing to these sports involves two training sessions per week plus games on a Saturday morning. Students in year two to six can join the Canterbury Chess Program. Programs such as Robineers, Canterbury Creative Gadgetry, Junior Esports, Debating, Canterbury Drone Club and the Darkside Astronomy Club are targeted to year five to six students. More information will be sent out via MyCC at the beginning of each term. 
Students in year three to four will partake in two one hour HPE lessons a week and year five and six will partake in one one hour lesson per week. These lessons focus on the students physical literacy with an emphasis on their physical, psychological, social and cognitive health and wellbeing. In term one, the year four, five and six will participate in water safety activities while the year threes will be in term four. These classes will be at the Canterbury Aquatic Centre. In addition to this, if you would like your child to be enrolled in learn to swim classes or swimming squad, please contact the Canterbury Swimming Club. There are so many opportunities for students to take part in performing arts ensembles throughout the year. Students may sing in the choir or play an instrument in a string orchestra, concert band and guitar ensemble. These groups are available for all students in year two to six, depending on the ensemble requirement. Performances are during the year at college events, music department concerts and competitions. Extracurricular dance is offered to all students from ELC to year six. There are the opportunities for students to participate in audition competition teams, as well as dance classes. Teachers work with students on building coordination, fitness and strength as well as stage presence and performance skills. Co-curricular drama is offered to all students in year four to six. Students work in a structured and supportive environment to improve skills in reading and writing scripts, stage skills and improvisation. Students work on both scripted play and improvised theatre sports. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Thank you for your time.